Who is this Hojo Yoshita? You can never overlook the Japanese. They have such a fantastic base, fundamental skill base. Hojo comes out and nobody's seen him before. He looks short for the category as well, a category that is really competitive. And there he is, taking everybody by storm. He starts off with Kuras, goes through him, and then he's got the experienced Ungvari. He just sweeps past Ungvari, works his way past Esposito. After Esposito, massive challenge, the former world champion, Molai. We know that you don't hook up with Molai. He got taken out. Molai came off second best, and he doesn't very often come off second best. Li Zhu Wan, he is one of the best. He came out, he surprised everybody when he first appeared on the scene. He took out some of the best fighters in the world. Hojo beats him to the attack every time, beats him at his own game, and he comes through to the final. And of course, he's got the current European champion on four, Al Barak, and he took him by surprise. They were hooked up. I don't think he expected the change of direction. It looked as if he kind of froze. He locked up just that little bit. That split second gave Hojo the time and the opportunity to attack. And as soon as he did it, he was gone, which was magical. It was kind of a, a nice little hit movement there. The leg didn't even go across. And Tewaza, he just uses the hands there to guide him backwards. It was fantastic stuff. And he's not just doing the Sianagis and the Siatoshis that we know they can do and the good footwork. He's doing pickup stuff, European style judo, and he took everybody by surprise, including me. It comes down to good technique, good preparation, whether it's physical preparation or technical preparation. If you've got all of those things together, the technique will always win. Angvari, Esposito, Malai Lee Albarak. How many more? Kasse and Grigalashvili. They were the only two missing. They've got to watch out.